All of you have seen this. Some of you might have even seen this. What if I told you that modern engineers have combined both of these things into one and created something entirely new? Hello everyone, you are on the LumaSky channel. My name is Alex and now I will tell you what the Pyradron is. Many of you have seen videos of drone shows on the internet. What is a drone show? These are lights installed on drones, and the drones themselves fly in the sky along specific pre-programmed trajectories. These trajectories allow for the creation of various shapes, inscriptions, patterns, and so on in the sky. I talked in detail about what a drone show is and how it works in one of my previous videos. Watch it to fill in the gaps. And now we move on to the next modification. At the end of the video, I will tell you about the newest feature in this technology, which was recently noticed at major events. Be sure to watch until the end. If you think about it, indeed, any useful payload on drones appears in roughly the same way. Engineers sit and think, pondering deeply. What else can we attach to a drone? And if everyone has already thought of attaching a light bulb, then at some point the idea came to mind to attach a pyro charge to the drone as well. It would seem, what's so difficult about that? You have a drone, you have a pyro charge bought from a store, attach one to the other and off you go. But in reality, it's not that simple. The question is, how to make the pyro charge activate at the right time? And imagine that you have thousands of such pyro charges. How do you make them all activate simultaneously, synchronized with music, lights, or other show elements? To some, it might seem that launching a pyro charge on time is very easy. We simply stretch a 200 meter fuse from the ground to the sky, ignite it, wait for the flame to reach the charge, and an explosion occurs. As you understand, this idea is not that great. I'm revealing the secret of how it all actually works. What is the difference between the charge installed on a pyro drone and the one you can buy in a store? It's in the fuse. The pyro drone uses a fuse that is ignited by applying voltage to it. So what do I mean? The fuse on the pyro charge looks something like this. On one side, there are two wires, and on the other side, something like a match head. Voltage is applied to the wires, and this additional voltage ignites and sets off the match head. This match head, in turn, ignites the charge itself, whereas the regular pyro charge is ignited simply just by directly applying fire to the fuse. So, how exactly does the pyro charge work at the most necessary, the most correct moment? At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that drones fly according to a pre-prepared flight mission, which is created for them by animators in a 3D program. In fact, during the development of the animation and the flight mission itself, animators also insert into this flight mission commands for ignition. The command to ignite the flare is essentially no different from the command the drone receives to light up in a certain color. Red, green, blue, any color. Then it is all programmed into the flight mission. And essentially, at the right moment, voltage is applied and the flare ignites. This usually happens at the most epic moment of the show, when the most grandiose music is playing and fireworks and salutes are exploding on the ground. Perhaps at this moment, an artist is delivering a fiery speech. Or maybe we are forming some kind of epic and impossibly large-scale figure. In general, all the epic moments that can happen in a show also are embellished and reinforced by a huge number of pyro drones, making the show even more awesome. And this figure could be either a dragon breathing fire from its mouth, even an eagle with flaming wings, maybe a butterfly with burning wings, anything that the imagination can conjure. For many, it might not be obvious, but pyro drones are very easily combined with lasers, with mapping, with all the elements used to create a show. And accordingly, all this allows for the creation of an even more epic picture. And as promised, I'm telling you about a new feature that was recently noticed at major events. Now pyro drones can not only spew flames, but also shoot fire over a considerable distance, creating a truly grand effect. So now you know about the new trend in the field of drone shows. Share your thoughts in the comments about what else can be attached to a drone. Like this video and subscribe to the channel to learn about the technologies of the future. 